Hey, Star Wars action figure collectors. This is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review, and this time I have Clone Commander Bly. So excited to finally have this guy in my collection. He's the last commander that I needed to get, and I'm just, oh, I was pumped to get him for the price that I got him for. I got him for five bucks at a local convention, and I mean, he tends to go for about 40 to 80 or so dollars online in packaging. Even loose, he can be pretty expensive you know, 30 or so dollars or more, and, you know, for a loose figure, I know most of you would not pay for that, but, you know, I didn't think I was going to get him, and I got him, so I'm excited, you know, patience is virtue, and uh, he looks pretty cool, um, you know, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, packaging, so you've got your uh, a mail away there for uh, uh, Nedar Veb, sorry about the glare, Clone Commander by flying, firing blaster rifle, that's a some artwork there. This is from 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe 2008, not 2009. There's some other figures in the wave. Great, great, all great figures. Um, there's a little bio there if you want to read it. And there he is holding that <laughs> weird looking weapon. And uh, still from the animated series. So uh, let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging and uh, see what it's all about. And here is Commander Bly out of the packaging. And for the most part, Commander Bly is a repaint of Captain Rex uh, from the 2008 uh, Clone Wars collection. And this is a mold that was used quite often. Uh, it's great articulation, that's for sure. It's definitely a great mold, so definitely no problem um, repainting that figure for Commander Bly. Now, his yellow is kind of a mustard-type yellow, kind of a darker yellow, um, which doesn't really go well with other well there's actually only a couple clones that are from the 327 star core phase one that was seen in the clone troopers and uh versus droids battle pack i'm not quite sure the name of that but um, yeah, it's a little different yellow yellow seems like a very difficult color <laughs> to match in star wars action figures i've noticed but anyways so uh, what makes them different from captor rex is the uh, visor that's on the helmet and it looks fine for the most part. There's a paint blotch there, but not that big of a deal. You know, you got this almost brown color on the pauldron. And then you have the uh, yellow trim, the mustard yellow trim. Going down the arms, the chest, here on the comma, just a soft plastic. And then here on the boots. Now, he yeah, comes with this accessory that we've seen a couple times. Um, which is kind of a cannon, I guess. Um, Spring-loaded for the most part. Mm, just kind of pushed down on it. It's supposed to fly out, but it's not doing that. Might not be all the way in. Oh, there it is. So, just kind of push it in and it's supposed to fly out. You know, just something we've already seen before. And then you have the traditional Bastard rifle that just kind of goes into that slot. So I prefer just having him hold this, but whatever it's it's a nice little accessory it's nothing too silly nothing too gimmicky and then you get the blaster pistols which you can hold or have in his holsters so the belt is kind of weathered kind of an off-white color okay so now let's take off the helmet and get a look at his head sculpt now the head sculpt is new on this guy it's different from um, Captain Rex and of course, one of the most notable uh, distinctions from Rex is the tattoo on the face. Which I think is a razor blade, but I could be wrong. And then he's got his uh, brown hair, brown short hair. Just a great facial sculpt. I really like this facial sculpt of the clones. And then there's the other tattoo on the other side. So a great, great head sculpt. So, you know, but I uh, do perform with his helmet and visor up for sure. So articulation, some wonderful articulation. You got your ball joint head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinged elbows. You got a swivel wrist on one side and you got the ball hinge on the other. So, you know, yeah, ball joint and torso, um, no swivel waist. You got the swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So... Really good articulation for this guy. 
just a great, great figure. I mean, this was a great mold. Uh, it still is today, far superior to some of the clones that we get nowadays. And um, yeah, so definitely recommend Bly. Yes, he is pricey, but you never know. You might get lucky and get him for a wonderful price. Got to be patient. But, you know, if you're into command uh, clones, and especially the commanders, definitely a must. So there you guys have it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, please comment, favorite, like, and until next time, may the force. So uh, here's a little bonus. Um, this is for E the Angel uh, 2220. Uh, he had mentioned in a recent uh, video that he missed uh, the good old days when you would see the card back on uh, the card being opened on camera. So I told him, you know what? Next time, I got you, guy. And let's see. I'm gonna try this because one of the reasons I don't open packagings on cameras because they can't they do can't take a while, especially if you gotta deal with rubber bands and other things. So that's how I open my packaging. So of course you don't have to watch this if you already watched the review, but if you want to see me opening it, here you go. So I hope you enjoy this, buddy. There's some tape that I'm dealing with there. And there's his helmet. Plastic bands, gotta love them. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what else is in here. There's other blaster pistol. I think figures are a lot easier to get out of the packaging now. I don't deal with elastic that much. Hey, that didn't take me too long. A minute and a half or so? There you go, E the Angel 2220. You guys say your name on camera one time, man, because I have a lot of people who have trouble. Uh, hear a lot of people always have trouble saying it. So, hope you've enjoyed that little extra, guys. Hope I uh, fulfilled your wish there, man. All right. Anyways, there you guys have it. And may the force be with you yet again.